One of my personal favorite features inside the Floriani Total Control software is the Tackle Twill feature. I used to do a lot of Tackle Twill, love working with Tackle Twill. It was very hard for me to find a program that I enjoyed using. Um, typically, I would use the one that came with my cutting machine, and although it did a good job, um, I had to export that file, take it into digitizing software anytime I wanted to add outside stitches to it, like uh, satin stitch name drops or anything like that. But what you'll find inside the Floriani Total Control software is a complete package that allows you to do everything that you need to do with your tackle tool. Add in other design elements. It is a wonderful tool, and I'm sure that you, if you do tackle tool, you'll love the tackle tool feature. What I have open here is just a, a simple design and this is artwork so this is vector artwork which I could automatically right click and convert it straight to tackle twill as you can see there so um, anytime you're working with vector art it's very simple to do that I'm gonna go ahead and select though the tackle twill tool which is located up here on your toolbar we can come in here now and we can left mouse click and go around the object. I'm just going to show you this as I talked to you a little bit about I'm just left mouse clicking as I talked to you a little bit about the unique um, features of this tackle tool module. One of the things I love about this tackle tool module is the way in which it goes around corners, the way that it uh, it folds corners. It is uh, you'll find that it's going to be probably the best uh, tackle tool um, software you've ever used if you if you're familiar with other tackle tool software um, it just the way that it goes around corners the way that it was designed was very nice and I'm gonna come in here this is the last stitch I'm gonna left click and then I'm gonna right mouse click to create the tackle twill so one thing you'll notice is I just went right on the outside of this edge you'll notice that right away that my the stitches the inset is only 5%, as you can see right here, only 5% on the fabric and it's 95% off the fabric. Obviously we'll want to go in and adjust that and it's very simple to do. Um, what you'll do with the in your properties box under Tackle Twill, you can come in here and you can adjust uh, quite a few different things. So we'll go over each one, the width in millimeters. So let's come in and let's say we want this to be 2.5 millimeters wide and I hit apply you can see that it grew in size this inset personally I like to use 85 percent on the fabric and 15 percent off the fabric I find that that gives you a good combination and that's what I typically use whenever I'm working with tackle tools so let's go ahead and just hit 85 and hit apply and what you'll notice is now it's 85 percent on the fabric and it's five percent off the fabric I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and change this color by right mouse clicking on the color in here. And you can see that you'll be able to see it much better now. So I'm 85% on the fabric, 15% off the fabric. You have your corner type of folded. Basically is what you have with this, with this scenario. You have an activation angle. And that's just the angle in which it activates the fold. And right now it's set at... Uh, when it's greater or it's uh, less than 120 degrees so you can come in there you can change that around if you want it to corner a little bit differently just because let's come in here and let's put this to 95 and hit apply you saw a little bit difference right there see how it didn't fold that edge I'm gonna go back to 120 just so you can see and hit apply you notice that it folded the edge and that's just when you come in and, and mess with the activation angle the angle in which it creates the fold and it's very important to have that fold in there so I'm gonna come in here now to my placement line this is what I, I love this about the software you have your placement line right now I have it at zero percent meaning that it's gonna be in the exact size of the tackle twill so let me go ahead and hit apply you can see this little line that now goes around the outside what that is is that's the first line that's going to be sewn out um, before you apply the tackle twill to um, the fabric is it's going to be a placement line and then it's going to automatically do a stop because right here in your placement command we have it and we said to stop so we're telling the machine that after it does that placement line we want you to stop so we can put the tackle twill on the next thing you have is the tack down line 
is another very important feature when you're doing tackle tool because you want to tack the twill down to the fabric before you start sewing the zigzag stitches onto the end. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I generally do about 20%, 25%, hit apply. And what that does is that's indented 25%. So you can see now that I have a, a tack down stitch that's going to, you know, after I put the tackle tool on, it's going to go ahead and tack it down, right, 25% indented onto the fabric. I don't have any holes in here. If I did, I would, if I had any holes in the structure, I'd go ahead and hit adjust holes. But let's go ahead and let's take a little bit look now at doing a slow redraw. So just just because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come into the commands. This is the other section. You can do a start command. You can do an end command. I generally tie in and I generally tie off so that you don't get any unraveling um, once you go to trim at the end or and with the tack down allows it to um, set the stitches before it starts sewing so that you don't get it pulling up. Let's go into fabric and I'm going to go ahead and click on this browse. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's kind of like a a red tackle twill and I'm going to hit apply. So it gives you a little image there. Let's go ahead and do a, a view slow redraw and I'm going ahead and going to hit simulate and let you see what's happening here. You can see that as I drag this across, this is going to be a placement line. Now what that'll do is it'll stop, allow you to put your tackle tool down, and then when then you hit start again on your machine and it's going to start doing the tack down stitch, which if you remember we indented it 25% and the next thing it's going to do is it's going to jump right into your tackle twill stitch, your zigzag stitch. It's going to jump right in and start doing that. It's not going to stop first. It's just going to go right in and do it. So you can see that that is basically exactly how it's going to work at your machine. Let me go ahead and, and click off of it, get into this 3D mode. One of the things I want to point out is I'm going to go ahead and click on this commands tab. You see this little stop? I want to point that out whenever you want to see what commands are, you know, happening in your design, whether it be a stop, which you don't see very often unless you're working with applique or tackle twill. Um, it'll also show you where the needle penetration points are um, whenever it's going to change a color and so forth. So it's just important to note that it does put that stop in there and you have the ability to take that off if you want but um, you will definitely want it to create a stop after that placement stitch so that you can apply your um, tackle twill one of the other things to note when you're working with tackle twill is you know you you have the ability to come in here and under the commands you can do a um, in command of um, frame out and hit apply. What that what that'll do is when you know after it's done and it stops, it's going to allow you to have that frame come out for when you're going to be placing your tackle tool down. And it's just very helpful to do that, and that is just in your commands. You can go to frame out. I'm going to put it back to normal here and hit apply. So that is how you work with Tackle Tool. I love the Tackle Tool feature. You have the ability at this point to go ahead and, you know, add other elements to the design. Let's say that you are wanting to, you know, put in, you know, a little bit of text. You could you could come in and you could go ahead and and type in a word. Let's just go to any old font here. And let's bring this down to about eight hit apply I'm going to go ahead and change this color to a yellow you can come in here and now you can place other stitches right on top of that tackle twill because you know you're doing the tackle twill first you'll get that all the way done and you can just continue on and go into stitching other elements right on top of it
or beside it however you want to do it so that's what I really love about the Floriani total control software is you're able to not only create your tackle tool stitches but then you can also come back in and you can put in other elements on top of it or beside it um, you don't have to take it to another program in order to do that one of the other things that I definitely want to point out to you is that you do have the ability to export this shape um, in a in a plotter format and where that comes in handy is whenever you have a a tackle tool cutter like I had an eye line cutter what you're able to do is you can come in here and you go to file save as and you can click in your drop down box you can go down to the bottom and you see you have a a plotter file format so you can come in here and save this and what that allows you to do is you can then take that file to your cutter and open it up and you're able to cut out um, the exact um, size um, for your your tackle twill um, and that's very helpful and very handy um, to be able to to work with it in that way so you do have the ability to export just the line um, let's go go ahead and show you that again you just uh, you know kind of select it go to file save as save it as a plotter file but again you would have to have a plotter cutter um, in order to you know to utilize that that feature and that function but for those of you who do you'll love the ability that you have in order to work with uh, the designs in the Florian total control software plus export those shapes um, and take them directly to your cutter to cut them out so definitely take the time to play around tackle tool feature there's a lot that you can do with it and um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its uh, the abilities built into the software